the start of the week really sets a tone for the rest of the days we have available to work. Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale Kani Training here in Japan, coming from our high performance center in Akasaka in Minato Ku in the very center of Tokyo. Very interesting. I would say without fail, every week, Monday, someone is either off sick for the whole day or is going to come in late because they've got some problem or they've got to go to the doctor. It happens very, very regularly. So is it the same person all the time? No. It varies between the, the team members. But it does say something about discipline over what we're doing on the weekends prior to going back to work Monday to Friday. It's a bit of a tricky area though. How do you tell people to spend their weekends? Well, you can't really do that. But I think it's important that we do spend some time getting to know our team, of course, but in that conversation, also at different times, have a conversation about health and about work and the balance of non-work and work. And you see it. Staying up too late every night in Japan is a common cultural thing here. It's become very much a late night culture. And then long commutes in the morning, tires are run out. So the weekends, they're doing a lot of things. And then they come to Monday morning and it's a headache or got a migraine or they're not feeling well in their stomach or they've got something wrong with them and they're not able to come in and start work on time. This is a discipline aspect that we have to tell people, hey, Sunday night, go to bed early. Sunday night, relax, get ready for the coming week. Think about what's coming up. Now, when you're the boss, uh, that's obvious, you know, you, you have to plan your weeks, you have to be on the ball all the time because you have all the responsibility. All right? You're feeding everybody in the team. However, when you're a member of the team, you don't tend to think like that and you think, oh, I just do what I like on the weekends. I think it's, there's a delicate balance there between you're probably going to a space that's none of your business, how they spend their weekends, and another space that says, hey, you're a member of the team, we need you. We need you to be the best of your game every day because you know we're fighting the competition out there, it's tough. We really need to be A game ready every single day. I want you to really take good care of yourself. I want you to give yourself a bit of time on Sundays to relax and then particularly Sunday night. So Monday morning, we're all going to come into work and be energized, ready to go. And that's another thing too. As the boss, you're not allowed to be grumpy, uh, moody, you're not allowed to be down in your spirit. You're not allowed to be tired. Uh, you're not allowed to be sick either, at least visibly, not looking too good. Now, that's a bit of a tricky one too because now we're right in the middle of the Kafunshaw season. The uh, pollens for the cedar and the hinoki are just making life miserable for everybody, and I'm a sufferer, so I know how hard that is. But as the boss, you've got to go beyond that. You've got to come in on Monday You've got to be red hot, you've got to be energized, even if you don't feel energized, even if you don't feel red hot, because everyone else is basically down, and we've got to lift them up and set them on course for the week. So have a look at your team and have a look at the patterns of who's taking time off on Mondays. You'll find Mondays, I'll guarantee you, always has the highest ratio of days that uh, people are taking off. So we can't really afford that in business, can we? We've only got Monday to Friday, to get a lot done and there's a lot to do. So we need to really appeal to our people to take good care of themselves and think about the coming week and their contribution they're going to make to the business and make sure they set themselves up for success, taking into account that on Monday morning, no matter how we feel, we better be fired up, we better be showing the way and we better be energizing the whole team. And if we do that, it will make a big difference.